Before U.S. Army veteran David Campbell was here. Today is the day they sit on the foundation. It's actually happening. <laughs> He was here. Half the house was, the block part was actually gone, and the ceiling was caved in on that side, and, and the inside of the house, the ceiling was, had started falling in. The house he grew up in, the house his father left him after he died, was destroyed in the April 13th tornado that hit Seneca. Since then, his property here has sat vacant. He's lived in a combination of hotel rooms and neighbors' houses. It's been stressful. But six months ago, when things weren't looking up. After the tornado hit, um, we realized that we might be able to help some veterans that maybe lost everything. In David's case, as I'm sure you talked to, he lost everything. Purple Heart Home swooped in to help turn things around. Larry called back and said, we can build you a tiny house. It won't happen overnight, but give us time and we get it done. A way to express our gratitude for, to, for what veterans have done for us. And so today, as the rain came down, signs of a new beginning for David Campbell. Being lowered onto its foundation, this house. One step closer to becoming David's new home. Today is the day they sit on the foundation. It's actually happening. It's a great day. They, uh, I know he told me about right before Thanksgiving I should be in the house and just excited. Hopefully another tornado won't come through and we'll be here for till to whenever. In Seneca, Alan Devlin, WIFF News 4.